Hello viewers! Now a couple of years ago I did a video showing you how to install USB charging ports on this 2017 Nissan Pathfinder and let me show you where I installed the USB charge port. If you look underneath the center console right here, right here are the two USB charge ports. Now with this one it is an older charge port so it only outputs about 2 amp and is not really fast enough. So in today's video I'm actually going to replace it with a new one that has a quick charge 3.0 port and a PD USB-C charge port. The first thing I'll do is remove the panel that's underneath here. Disconnect the connector to the light. Next I need to remove the shifter. Pull down this collar. And there's a metal clip you need to remove. Now you can slide this up. Next remove this panel. There are clips along the side. Before you can remove this, disconnect the two connectors behind the seat warmer. To make removal a little easier, I'm going to move the shifter to the middle position. Now there is a shifter release button right below here. If you press that, you can move the shifter. But make sure you have your parking brake on when you're doing this. Now underneath here, there's one more connector you need to disconnect. And that's for illuminating the gear selection here. Once you disconnect that, this panel can come out. Now I'll remove this tray that has a USB charge port. First remove this rubber mat. Next remove the two Phillips screw that you see right here. Now lift this tray up. There are clips on the side and one at the front here. Next, disconnect the two connector behind the cigarette lighter plug. And there's a wiring that goes to my USB charger. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. Now I'll take this to my bench, remove the old USB charger, and then install the new one. Here's a closer look at the USB charge port that was installed a couple years ago. As you can see, there are two USB-A charge port, and it outputs a maximum of 2 amps. So it's not very high current for today's phone. And let me show you the new one that I picked up. There's a new one that I'll be replacing it with. At the top, it has a USB-C charge port. And this one is a high output power delivery port. At the bottom is a USB-A charge port. But this one is a quick charge 3.0 charge port. Now, I did test this already. The bottom port will do fast charging. And the top port will do super fast charging. Also in the middle, there's a voltmeter. It'll show you the voltage of the car when this is on. So let me go ahead and turn this around and remove this. Now with the old one, I just need to pop it out. By the way, if you're interested in seeing how this was installed the first time, I will link the original video in the video description below so you can check it out. But basically what I did was I cut a hole in the middle here and then installed it into this hole. So with this one, I just need to pop it in. And here's what it looks like with it installed. And I'll look at the back. Now I'll connect the wiring harness. So right now I have this connected to my power supply. You can see the middle shows you the voltage. And once I turn on the ignition in the car, these two charge ports can be used to charge my phone. Before I put everything back together, let me go over how I got the power to power the USB charge port. So the last time when I did the install, this wire that I have here onto the existing cigarette lighter power cable that you see right here. In this vehicle, there are two cigarette lighter power adapter. And if you're doing your own install, you can tap into either of these two power wires. Each connector has two wires. One is positive, one is negative. You can use a voltmeter to check which wire is which. You'll need to strip back the wire that's on here. And then I soldered my own wire onto the power wire here. Now I can reinstall this panel. Reconnect the three connectors underneath. Move the shifter back up. On the shifter with the clip installed, go ahead and just pop it back in. 
And lastly, reconnect this connector for the lights. And the install is done. Now turn on the ignition. And you see the voltage reading, so it's powered on. Here I'll plug in both of my USB cable. The bottom one is a USB-A cable. And the top one is a USB-C cable. I'll first plug in the charge cable from the USB-C port. Now the bottom of the screen will show you what type of charging it has. As you can see it says super fast charging. Right here is a charge cable from the USB-A charge port. And here it tells you it's fast charging. So you can see both charge ports are working as it should. This install took me about an hour and now I have the updated USB charge ports in my car. So for those of you who are interested in installing a high speed USB charge port in your vehicle, perhaps you found this video to be helpful. Now there are many different styles of USB charge ports for a vehicle. In the second roll of this Nissan Pathfinder, I'll show you this other quick charge USB port that I installed. Now I did not make a video of this, but installing this one is very simple. All you have to do is drill a round hole in the panel and then mount it into the panel. Now I will include the link for these different type of USB chargers in the video description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.